Yeah, I see it. Hold on. Hat on properly. <laughs> okay, so, at the plough on Harrow, landlord, James, my friend, has allowed me to do my own cruise campaign. Trust oh, me behind the bar, you see? I know. Loves me. Poor James. Oh, right. Poor man. <laughs> so, it's a cruise camp though. It's the 4.4% ABV. Hopefully I'll get a good pour for you. Well, I hope so. <laughs> you pulled enough. You should be good at it by it's been now. It's a long time, apart from my own ones. Does it feel weird being behind the bar again? Yeah, seven years <laughs> does. There you go. Oh, look at that. That's not bad. So there you go. Look, what a pour. What a lovely glass. And Michelle's going to be having Timothy Taylor's Pale Ale. Yeah. You? I think it's called Landlord. 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 It's, it's a pale ale and it's one award, so I'm looking forward to trying that. Okay, and I'm going to review this one. Right, see you in a minute. So, outside now, people, at the Plough and Harrow in Deal. And as I showed you earlier, I'm doing the cruise campo. Michelle is doing the pale ale. Yeah, first time trying this. Yeah, um, what it is, I'll be honest with you here, because I wanted to give this a fair review. I'm on my fourth pint. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know where to start on this one. It was okay-ish first thing because we got here. Obviously, you're excited. You get into a new place because mm. we're staying here in the motorhome with um, oh, well, John's in the bar. James, sorry, James. John. Right. Um, it was all right. Um, Four point four percent doesn't do it for me, if I'm honest. But you do get some decent beers that are low in strength, don't you? You do. I was quite surprised that Paul picked this out um, to have a second pint. For me, it's really, really malt backbone, nice sweet malts on there. Yeah, I mean, one of the things uh, we, we've come up with, it reminds you of Bex Gold on the PB. Yeah, that's what it um, reminded me of. A weaker of. version of Bex Gold. Um, I mean, you smell it there, you're getting, like Michelle says, a bit of sweet malt, but nothing to shout out about, if I'm honest. It's, yeah, it's it's very generic, isn't it? It's generic. It's um, it's a it's like it's a renamed Madri, if you ask me. <laughs> I mean, come on, um, you know, if this if this came out on Perfect Draft, there'd be an uproar. If this came out on Blade, everyone would be like, yeah, we got it. It's like um, different level. I don't game. actually find this uh, offensive in any way. I quite like the sweet malt backbone uh, lagers beers. Um, there just isn't a lot to it. This, this, this is a mindless pint. You might as well be drinking a pint of Carlin, a pint of Carlsberg. Um, I'm absolutely stunned at so many people. I know there's a lot of people, don't get that me wrong. I'm really, really into that this. Are... Actually, taking that sip now yeah. is even sweeter than the first time I tried it. Uh, um, this place is lovely. Oh, yeah, this place is lovely. Absolutely Baron Harrow, honestly, beautiful. what a cracking place. But Stick on the Stella, stick on something like that. There's, there's, there's plenty of the good options The lines are really clean, the pints are really nice, Landlord you know. Knows you've got stuff. the right glasses and everything. Yeah, every you've well. got some real owls here, you've you've got some really good uh, mm. lagers and beers. I just some don't good spirits. think this one is a brilliant one. But um, yeah, no, um, for me, you've got your cruise campo in Spain, your 5.6% ABV. It doesn't compare. This is not even close. This is, so, um, it's absolute. Mm. Now I'm more That's looking right. forward to trying this. Right, so we'll leave that one to you. I'll let you take some stage here, because it's more your thing, isn't it? Mm. And that's 4.3%, I think, isn't it? Oh. Now this is different gravy. I don't know how he's managed to do that. Yours is really, really cold. Mine is being served at the correct temperature. I would say it's about five degrees. Which is nice for a pale ale. You don't want it as cold as you would a lager. No, this is not. This is nice cold, and the, the coldness. I'm really impressed. If with I'm that. honest, is probably saving this beer. Um, it's one of them things, isn't it? But I wanted to try this. I'd heard a lot of mixed reviews of it, but for mm. me, uh, the as best I say, thing about it's glass. The best thing about <laughs> it's the glass, yeah. And the thing is that you got Cruise Campo 5.6, and you got Cruise Campo Grand Reserve. Mm. But I say, um, this doesn't compare. good luck if you want this on the blade, blade so table. So I'm, I'm going to go on doing a little bit of a review of this. It's Timothy, Timothy Taylor's Landlord. Mm. It's a pale ale. Um, it's an award winning pale ale, no less. This could win an award, award of being crap. <laughs> so <laughs> this is actually really nice. It's got a really lovely multi feel to the beginning. 
but then it blends into a fruity citrusness. Yeah, I thought you'd like that. I mean, you've been... It's got minimal carbonation, which I, I like. I don't want anything too gassy when I've been drinking quite a bit. Um, and it finishes off on an almost floral note. Mm. Yeah, for me, that's a, a cut above this. You're getting so much more flavour. There is lots going on there. It's not mind, <laughs> mind blowingly uh, strong. No, but, but it's, 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 it's not watery, it's there's loads of flavour there. Yeah, I mean this for me, as I say, I've given it a, a fair shot because yeah. obviously um, <laughs> people say, oh, it's so biased, the perfect draft flavour, this is just crap. Seriously, um, it's not a good pint. It's refreshing on the first one. Yeah. But stop at one, move on to something decent. Mm. You've got Stella in there, you've got, what else have you got? Peroni. Like Peroni. They are I've been, I've been drinking neck oil. Um, yeah, Michelle's been on Beaver Town neck oil. If you're coming to this bar, lovely, lovely pie, you don't man. want to be doing that. There's much better on offer. Yeah. It's just, it's basically another manager. It's another, if that's brewed in Spain, that's a miracle. I don't for, mean, for people who are drinking beer but don't know beer. Oh. Oh, that sounds a little bit elitist. I didn't mean it like that. It's a lot of them. They don't need that funny looking machine. But anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to go into that any further get in trouble being biased but I mean honestly try it for yourself and yeah. anyone that's got let's, a clue about let's, drinking let's know what you this think. is crap um, what would I give that out of 10 the first one was refreshing it was alright I think I'd go the second one started to get worse the third one was like oh Jesus I'd go a 6 6 yeah, no it, way it's drinkable I, I don't mind the, the sweet malt backbone of that I'll go a 4 and I'm being <laughs> there fair. we go <laughs> there so a fair fall and obviously I've drunk a lot more of it with Michelle she's been on neck oil I've been yeah. on this it's not a good pint no way anyone shouting out for right. this you need to learn about what a decent beer is go and try some different beers there is loads out there that have got a yeah. load more flavour um, just got to say a lot more going on about them anyone shouting for this just like give up drinking mate go and get yourself a coke <laughs> zero or something you just <laughs> no <laughs> I'm just being honest, give up, because <laughs> there's no way you can shout about that. Anyone that has any clue about drinking, I'm no expert, don't get me wrong, but I know when something's really shit, and that is, and that's how it is. So, Parallel wins the day. Parallel wins the day. Thank you for watching. Michelle's happy, and so we're here for the night. Oh we're, yeah, it's stunning, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely Skin lovely. Browns. There was another video, I'll probably put it up before this one. Yeah. Where landlord let us in for a pint before he opened an infant because obviously we wanted to just do the pint with just us two in there. I forgot to turn the music yeah, on. Yeah, really, really lovely guy. If you're around this area, you want anyone to do some around glamping, Bill, seriously. They do the glamping with yep. their oh, the pods are absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, there's another video of the pods as well. But I'll, so, I'll get uh, so this is well worth a visit if you're in this area. Mm, definitely. Right. Bonjour and think about what you drink. Cheers. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs>